what he illustrated as the flagrantly unlawful suspension and termination of the accused person's service, the UTG's non-compliance with the Gambia Public Procurement Authority, admitted reports indicating undue processes effected in matters of expenses and contracts whose fiscal routes were never documented or properly determined, the gross expenditures and salary paid to the vice chancellor to the dishonest and biased nature of appointments, even the vice chancellor's academic credibility was vastly questioned by the court as it went on to list down the maze of inconsistencies in this embryonic institution which Ture attempted to bring to the fore. While commending the exemplary attitude displayed by Gumbo Ture in sacrificing his liberty for the betterment of the university, Magistrate Alagbe further underlined the vital nature of the investigative report by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, which he said immensely buttresses the unlawful termination of Dr. Ture's employment after conveying his grievances about the UTG's maladministration by the Vice Chancellor. Dr. Ture was consequently acquitted and discharged by the presiding magistrate to a deafening applaud by onlookers, friends, and relatives. Ibrahim Chata, GRTS. The 5th of October is designated the World Over as World Teachers' Day. The day which is set aside by UNESCO is meant to pay homage and appreciate the significant contribution made by teachers towards education and development. Samuel Ba takes a look at this year's celebration, which is anchored on the team Take a Stand for Teachers. Celebrated annually on October 5th, World Teachers' Day is an opportunity for governments, parents, students, and activists to honor and show gratitude to educators for their invaluable contributions to the advancement of education across the globe. Tribute will be paid to the teaching profession and its unique role in the socio-economic and intellectual rebuilding of communities in which we all live and work. Fellow Gambians, I therefore address this nation tonight in order to acknowledge the worth of our nation's teachers, to recognize and applaud the important work they do. These teachers are the representatives of stability, order, and continuity, and do not flinch in the face of adversity. Their commitment to excellence in classroom situations and their overwhelming contributions to the achievement of students no doubt sets them as main pillars of a sound and progressive society as they continue to bear the weight and responsibility of educating generations of young people. I am convinced that teachers in this country, just like in other countries, are engaged in a great national mission for our generation of young people. This mission aims to realize the full potential of each young person through a system of education that lays a solid foundation for responsible citizenship. Indeed, the teacher requires support to accomplish this mission. This year's celebration centered on the theme Take a Stand for Teachers illustrates their daunting task as dynamic forces in educational institutions and a clarion call for all stakeholders to acknowledge them as they continue to transform the lives of learners. The teacher is believed to be the yardstick for measuring the achievements and aspirations of a nation. They know they carry our heritage and future on their soldiers and strive for better educational service delivery. As we celebrate this day, let us remember how our teachers managed to endure the immense difficulties of the past, and also think of the enormous challenges that lie ahead in order to gain the broadest possible perspective of their role as teachers. The government of the day is fully aware of the immense difficulties that teachers have endured in the past and hence the introduction of life-changing interventions to better their lives. It is for this reason, among others, that the government of the Gambia, under the dynamic leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Chair Professor Al-Haji Dr. Yahya A.J.J. Jami, values the contribution of teachers and calls on them to continue giving their very best for the development of our dear motherland. By the same token, the teachers will continue to bear testimony to the incremental advancement of their profession through the life-changing interventions currently being implemented in the education sector. As teachers across the globe observe this day, hopes are high that they will continue to penetrate into the secret hearts of young people, giving their best for the development of our motherland. Samuel Ba, GRTS. 
La Bagao APRC Youth Bureau recently celebrated its one year anniversary. The commemoration availed members the platform to take stock of their achievements and shortcomings, as well as reaffirm their unflinching support and loyalty to President Jame and the APRC party. Louis Mendy has more. The Bakao APRC Youth Bureau is now a year old. That anniversary was recently celebrated in grand style, a moment that these young supporters of the ruling party rejoice over their successes with renewed commitment to support this man they say they will not only vote for, but are ready to die for. <laughs> Pipai Tanjikora, one of the first Bakao used to recognize the 22nd July Revolution, initiated the construction of the Bureau. A father of three children, he single-handedly soldiered the financial burden to erect the Bureau, spending a whooping sum of over $60,000. He told GRTS he did this for two reasons, his unquenchable love for the Gambian leader and for the prosperity of the nation. The event was graced by Honorable Aliu Jame, the Minister of Youth and Sport, and Perminte, the APRC National Youth Mobilizer. The duo were accompanied by Ansumana Jame, Babuge Sonko nominated member, and Pabojang of KGI, who donated $10,000 to the Bureau with a pledge to further furnish it with office equipment. In a short note, the APRC National Youth Mobilizer task celebrants to solidify efforts in consolidating the gains that brought them this far. Paired with the notion that youths have a great bearing on the way nations are run in the future, also call on celebrants to always emulate President Jame's leadership style. As a custodian of the ideas of the president, I am ready to lead you. I only ask for your support, and together we will get there, say the APRC National Youth Mobilizer. The Gambia under President Jame sets its priority on youth development. The numerous interventions the government spearheaded in bettering their lives are testimonies to that. Youth, said Honorable Sonko, should not allow themselves to be distracted by unpatriotic individuals and groups but remain solid like a rock in the pursuit of peace and prosperity. Values held in high esteem by President Jame. As celebrants dine and wine into the night, the bureau was open for the guest. This is how the inside looks like. <laughs> Louis Mendy, GRTS. Now from our website at www.grts.gm, we now take our first break. We'll be right back. Over now to news beyond our borders, Somali forces backed heavily by Kenyan and African Union troops are expanding and strengthening their control of the port city of Kismayo. The strategic city was the stronghold of the militant Al-Shabaab group who withdrew in the face of attacks by African Union troops. Reports say the Al-Shabaab opened up the gates of the Kismayo central prisons, releasing prisoners upon their retreat from the city. The Somali army, backed by Kenyan and African Union troops, secured positions in Kismayo this week. They now control the most strategic points in this port city. Once under the control of the Shabaab, it was abandoned by the rebels on Saturday during a ground assault by Somali and Kenyan forces. The Shabaab retreated without a fight. The takeover is considered a key victory in the war against the Islamists. Al Shabaab have actually deserted uh, Kismayo uh, port city. They have actually deserted the area. So therefore, we never had any challenges. We actually entered the town without any resistance at all. And uh, we came all the way to the airport without any resistance. But the city is still unsafe. Lawlessness is spreading. The retreat of the Shabaab has left a power vacuum, and residents say that clan militias are regrouping. There are already reports of civilians and clan leaders having been killed. <laughs> 